Guess what? A tutorial from Richard. Generic greetings, fellow citizens of the internet. Here is a tutorial. This one is dedicated towards Klaus because he needs it. This is my happy seed box, patent pending. Um, basically, it's um, the best way I have found for getting lots and lots of seeds um, very quickly. This is my random test shit out world. Lots and lots of random stuff everywhere. Anyway, so this is this is my happy seed box. Um, basically, the general idea is you come in here, you know, you, it toggles, so you can come in here, close that up, um, and now this, even though it doesn't look it, um, the only light is, well, I, it does kind of look it. It's, it's sort of light, it's not entirely dark, but it is darker than it sort of looks. Um, you do that, and it automatically quickly does that. And you can spam relatively quickly. If you go too fast, it does break, but you can go almost as fast as you can. Slow motion. <laughs> okay, so here's the general idea behind it. Um, that is a little door thing there, you know, it's pretty straightforward, those are half slabs. So the light is blocked out even though it looks open, it just, you know, it's a, it's a visual thing that I added because I felt like it. Um, so that, um, this button just toggles that, um, which could be a traditional door or anything else that you want, um, as well as the lights, which are also primarily just so that monsters don't spawn in here or anything. Alright, so this is where the magic happens, right about here. This is the other end of that thing, um, and basically the idea is, um, when you, um, do that, it updates, so like when you place, when, when you bone meal the grass, um, I, in this case a rose grew, so that updated the, um, that updated the block which this rose is now updating, the air block, it got updated. Um, and so that updated the piston, which um, toggled the state, so on and so forth. If you know bud switches, then you understand how that works. And um, so that um, flip flops it. Um, and also it um, powers this piston here, which has a different purpose. Let me actually, I kind of messed things up by doing this. Um, there we go. Um, it's easy to reset, is the thing. Um, now the problem with traditional, you know, seed boxes or so on, um, initially it was that, you know, you get a dark room and you could just spam, you know, your, you know, stuff as much as you want, um, but the problem was it was, um, patched, basically. You can no longer just go into a dark, grassy room and spam it. If it's dark, it simply won't grow. So, um, the thing is, um, you need it to be light. Um, and it's just light enough here that you can do it. Um, and then it needs to get dark. But that's only part of it. And this, Klaus, this is where you're sort of going wrong. Um, you've sort of got it part right, and you'd be okay um, if you put together your um, clock thing, but it would take a lot, a while, because um, we have to do some more with block updates to get this to work properly. Huh, the thing is... Um, when uh, the wheat grows, or when the tall grass grows, um, you get, um, well hang on, huh, how to say this, okay, so the, um, the tall grass is there, um, and then the room gets dark. It doesn't immediately pop out. Um, anyone who's messed about a little bit with this um, can attest to that. Um, the thing is, it waits for, like, a random block update. Um, and I don't know if these are, like, natural, organic updates, like the ones that, um, cause wheat to grow and vines to grow and so on. I imagine it is, but don't quote me on it. Um, I also know that fence gates sometimes randomly close because of these block updates, so it might not be restricted to plant growth. But, um, and I don't know if that's the same thing again. But, um, what I found was that if you force that block to update, um, it will update and the, the um, grass or the flower will realize that it is in darkness and it will pop out. So, um, and in, in turn, that block will update and so adjacent blocks will update and if there's more 
you know, grass around, then it will all pop out at once. Hence why it all pops out when that thing goes out. What this does, this is just a piston with a block there. Um, and when that piston pushes the block into this square here, into that little, you know, block area um, adjacent to this, that updates that block and therefore blo updates this. And because, you know, that gets broken, it updates that block and then the adjacent blocks are updated and so on and so forth. So it starts a chain reaction and so on and so forth. So you always, um, to get the most reliable results, you want to always um, bone meal this square here, this um, piece of grass here, because um, wherever you click, at least in my experience, I've never seen it to be otherwise, the place that you click um, is the one you know square that is guaranteed to get um, wild grass or a uh, flower on it. Elsewhere, you know, every once in a while you'll get one, yeah, there. Um, where it, you know, it won't actually grow there. So if you just do that, then it'll get that and most of it. And sometimes you'll get this, but all you have to usually do is do that and then it'll get the rest of them. Um, just because it only takes so long to get adjacent ones. And you could probably build this bigger. Like I could expand, I could expand this this way a little bit, expand it that way maybe. Um, if you got creative, you could do all kinds of different things. Um, and, make, and take advantage of um, the area that bone meal affects. I didn't really research that or take that into account. But this is enough that it produces a decent amount, um, you know, for your bone meal. Um, it's not ultra awesome, but it is decent. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly why you'd need something like this in survival. But, um, if you want it, like for mass producing flowers, for example, um, you know, here it is. And so, um, this is really simple and can be customized however you like. It's just a button rigged to a T flip flop that, um, turns on lights and opens doors, um, and vice versa. This is the part that you want to be interested in. Um, and basically it's bud switch. Um, so, I mean, copy the video if you are interested in copying it, um, and, I mean, it's as simple as that right there. Oh, that was redstone there. So feel free to use this, obviously, and, um, hope this helps you out, Klaus. Uh, and, yeah, any questions, talk to me in the comments or, you know, so forth, and... I might make a revision video or so on if I've been stupid here. But for now, happy seed box. There you go.